so it's approximately what time is it it is 11 17 and hubby is what are you doing babe making a shed making a shed He's not making a shed, he's building a shed. Correction. Building a shed for the garden at almost 11.30 at night because he's determined <laughs> to get it done today. I've been trolling him about getting it done. Still going. It's now quarter to 11. <laughs> and Still there, babe. <laughs> Hello, is anyone home? Have you finished? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, thank you to everyone who watched my last vlog. I'm really happy that you know got a nice response some really good comments a little bit of criticism and feedback which is good because it helps me to improve my videos and to be honest i'm rusty i was like okay how do i use for the Pro again today i'm not even at home today today we've got to go to ozias's swim lesson at 11 30 it's currently like 9 30 now i think this was here the last time you guys were here so we have this um virgin pure water filter so in our old flat we actually had wasn't a virgin pure one but with the flat we had one of these water filters under the sink so it was like basically under the sink like that and um it came with a tap we had two taps and one of them was a drinking tap so it'd come up with you turn it right it'd be hot water like boil piping hot water and then um cold drinking water and then we had the tap to wash plates and stuff like that so when we got here we completely forgot we didn't have a kettle the only kettle we had was my husband's uni travel kettle that's like this big and you can literally only boil enough water for a cup of tea one cup of tea so we decided to get the virgin um water filter which is amazing it's got a filter in there you only change it twice a year every six months and they send you a new one you get boiling hot water cold water room temperature water and it's all filtered safe and i'm really really aggy about that kind of stuff i need our water to be a lot better because the water in this england is not good up shade up shade <laughs> update on the shed he has made massive progress he did stay up till about 2 a.m doing it that night hi babe Yo. how's it going he's built that little thing over there i should really plant things in there i could plant things in there innit? yeah that's what could make plants yeah. mm. all right he's baby's good. calling good morning good morning good morning um i have a good explanation for this face and why i'm so i look so tired i just look really tired i need to get some good 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 rest um why is it doing this hold on my camera settings are a bit a bit funny at the moment one second okay that's a bit better yeah so oh, let me turn off my engine so um yeah i have a very good explanation i was up till 2 a.m last night trying to um sort out my youtube video that i had to re-upload so it should be it's up now by the time you see this it'll be up currently in a car park um supermarket need to do some shopping in my house i'm tired of takeaway so my mum and my mum are both at my house um helping me out they're just so oh, do you know what yeah when i think about it, i'm just so blessed these are the things that i prayed for when i prayed for the kind of husband i wanted i also prayed for the kind of family i wanted to marry into and i made sure that i prayed that my mother-in-law would love me like one of her children that she would adore me and i would adore her and there will be no strife and because you hear all types of stories with mother-in-laws and um 
daughter-in-laws and it's not always so pleasant if we're going to be honest but I thank God that you know God really answered my prayer in that area and I'm so grateful because honestly this is a luxury having I can just leave my son if I ever need my son looked after I've got them too at the bare minimum and they never say no <laughs> so you know they're there now just helping around the house and while i can get some food shopping done so i'm going to waitrose and i'm then i'm going to aldi because i'm so happy there's a waitress in this area because i can get aldi's fantastic that's not my favorite supermarket food shop but they don't always have everything and with my gluten-free and dairy-free free diet that's an area that they need to improve on so they're really good on the organic front but i do need um alternatives and waitrose have really good ones so I know you live out of the end here yeah, when the trolleys don't need one pound coins my mum's old area every shopping supermarket one pound coin but when you're in some nice suburban area where they trust you we came we actually came to waitrose and my husband was like basically was just walking <laughs> and everyone was looking at us and my husband was like babe meet the blacks and I could not stop it was the joke of the day every minute meet the blacks meet the blacks meet the blacks but yeah you know we are in a very predominant caucasian area but that's fine we're good with that like you know that's 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 cool but um yeah it's a nice lovely area i love it because it's very affluential as well so it's a beautiful beautiful area i'm so glad we've made this move oh glory be to god another story sorry i just want to say another story i used to work in marketing field marketing where i'd have to go into stores and make sure the client's products are where they're supposed to be in the position they're supposed to be um they're displayed properly and this is the job i was doing alongside my cleaning job so i had my cleaning job for a year and then um i got this job so i was doing them alongside so i'd wake up four o'clock in the morning for my cleaning job and then i'd go to my day job which was for marketing um i used to come to this waitress basically um i actually used to do the job with um with a few of my friends actually and one of them was dara and i remember we came to this choice together because you, you had to do a lot of driving and sometimes we would just take our shifts at the same time and then we'd go to work together so i remember we came to this waitress and then we came outside and there was this um furniture shop across the road and then wasn't in work clothes it was more it was very casual but we had lanyards on and we went into the furniture shop because it was looked really nice and went in there and the people looked up and like, gave us a half smile looked down and that was it they never asked us if we wanted any help are you looking for anything in particular i thought is it because we're black is it because we don't look like we've got money what is it yeah i didn't have money then i'm not gonna lie i was living you know paycheck to paycheck you know it wasn't i didn't have money like that to buy any furniture anyway and where am i gonna put it i was living at home with my mum so anyway um went in there and, and then we stayed for a while we even i've even got a selfie and not yeah a mirror selfie and i'm gonna post it right there that is me and dara in the furniture shop across the road from this waitress that i'm in now at the point i think i'd met my husband now well boyfriend at the point at that time but my husband and he was taking me to work that day so i had to come back to this waitress and i said oh there's this lovely furniture shop over there and i wonder i want to buy stuff from there and the same thing eh didn't talk to us didn't say nothing acknowledge us just we weren't there basically i would never buy anything from this place they don't acknowledge you regardless you know you don't know who i could be or who i am and you don't want to say hello you don't want to even acknowledge the customers that come in through your shop door you're rude you're rude but it's fine though it's fine because now i'm at this waitrose where's the shop please the shop has closed down not glorifying god over anyone you know failed business or whatever the case is but it's just so funny because now i live in this area i can afford that furniture if it was there but now it's not and i'm shopping in the shop that i used to work in so do you know what all i'm saying right now is that you just don't just trust god's um what's the word purpose for your life just follow his purpose and do what the bible says that's the only way people always ask me what was your prayer sis what was your prayer like you're really living in god's purpose but you're so blessed it's but i'm not saying it's by works because nothing we do is by works okay nothing we do by works by faith 
and my faith in God is not gonna lie, it gets rocky sometimes, but I'll say 90% of the time, my faith in God is there. I just try to be the best Christian I can be. And God has just been so faithful. Like he's really like any prayer I pray for, it might not happen straight away. Like this story that I'm telling you guys was what? 2015. 2015 this is four years later i never imagined to live in this area i never imagined to be the shop that like the waitress that i used to come into to do client stuff that like, which is expensive let's not have it like this is bougie maybe not for some people folk but i've never shopped in waitress in my whole life but i'm now shopping here and the furniture shop that i went into twice which ignored me is closed down like honestly god is so good oh, well, that's enough chatting yeah let's go shopping going online and asking people what good restaurants there are out there so it's only 17.99 so I'm gonna get it for myself it's really nice Do you want to say hi, Mum? It's my camera. Where is it going? Where is it just not going? It's going on YouTube. No. No? Look at where I am. The way you are. Mm. The way you are is beautiful. You forgot your password. Oh, sorry. I've just got back from shopping, food shopping. Tidied up, put Ozias to bed for a nap. He did not sleep while I was away. He's given all his grandmas stress. Yes, but we're back now. I'm about to eat some rice and stew. Not glamorous at all. But it tastes amazing. My sister um, made it yesterday for my mum, so I've got some here. And then I'm going to get on with this recipe before Ozzy wakes up. Oh, that's better lighting these things you can see behind me are going in the shed they are for oh, i don't know if you can see the shed no you can't let me show you it's up now so yeah there's our little shed and it's ready to be filled full of junk how wonderful these are um shelves for the shed they're gonna go in there so we're, we can be a bit more organized with our dumping um and then my mum's looking at me while i'm doing youtube she's making me she's making me very uncomfortable <laughs> she's thinking like what's this girl doing you wouldn't understand she's she's an old timer she doesn't get it but yeah i'm so tired as usual i'm always tired on here but i'm gonna eat this lunch quickly and then i'm going to make what i really want to eat afterwards i've got a few little bits from h&m i got this that came while i was parking it's a really cute chopping board it's very nice oh yeah my mom showed me some crushed velvet cushion i also got which is really nice goes with um with the settee but it's not going to go on the settee because it's too matchy 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 so 
once I've cleared this area sort of it will go there or on whatever chair ends up here haven't decided just yet and I also got this for Ozias's room it's very dark over there it's a gloomy day so the lighting is not great but I got this for Ozias's room it's like a wash basket slash toy soft toy um organizer kind of thing so I'm gonna put this in there for all his teddies can he stay tonight I'm going to college tomorrow. What time? Studies tomorrow. I'll finish at three. Start at ten. I have to leave. Why does everyone else have to have a life except for me? But yeah, okay, well, I'll figure out a day that he can go there. Then I'm going to, um, I will <coughs> get on with his room. That's going to be the first complete room. I need to order a decal for his wall. Um, I haven't found the right one yet. But when I do... I'll order it and put that up on the wall oh i need to show you we have a new tv which has come it's bigger than this room this is our living room it's also a big mess but look at how big our tv is it's huge i originally oh knocking things over I originally wanted a frame TV, but what was the issue with the frame TV? It only went up to a certain size and it was costing some dumb price and this was a really good offer and it was huge. So hubby decided to go for this one, but um, we're still going to get a frame TV, but we'll probably get it when we get a bigger house. It's more justifiable. So yeah, for now, no frame TV. But yeah, I hope to get one in the future. But this TV is huge. And compared to our last TV, it makes our last TV look like... I don't even know what it makes our last TV look like. This is our... This was the last TV. Guys. It's tiny. So this TV is going to go into our bedroom. Then my old white TV from my mum's house when I was living there is going to go... Where's that one going to go? That's going to go into the loft, into the spare room, stroke, um, office and yeah this humongous thing is gonna go in here up on the wall yeah that's it that's my update home update today i'm gonna eat my rice and stew yeah, have some juice and just relax for like half an hour because i'm just i haven't stopped since morning and then get on to this recipe which shouldn't take long But life goes on, you know? You just gotta get up with it. You gotta slay. What I will say is when you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed and just tired and you know you want some vim, pray. Do a little prayer, read a scripture that will motivate you, that will get you going. And just ask for God's strength. As mums, as women in general, we carry a lot on our shoulders and it's important to always tap in to the strength that comes from above you can't do it without him so yeah do you like my t-shirt it says gelato some h&m's old season though is like last year um these days i just find anything and if i can pull it from the box <laughs> i just fling it on because i don't have i don't know where all my clothes are so i hope that's a delivery from me No, I don't think it is. Anyway, toodles, my noodles. Morning, everyone. Um, yeah, how's everything going? So, yesterday, I did not vlog because I was feeling super duper overwhelmed. Like, yesterday, I think I was just so tired. I've been saying I've been tired, I've been tired, I'm tired, but I think it just all hit me yesterday and my house for the last few days well my kitchen which is the place i spend most of my time because it's the only room that's kind of done or well, not even done but you know to a decent standard um that um what was i even saying 
it's the only room that I can get B in at the moment and it was just oh it's just getting on my nerves like it's just messy obviously I let my son do baby led weaning so he can develop a little faster and you know be a bit more independent when it comes to food and less fussy but with that comes a lot of mess so imagine three meals a day including snacks in between my floor is just always messy I my dishwasher is still not working I'm not even trying to sound like I'm bougie or you know oh why well, can't she just wash her plates with her hands I've been washing plates with my hands for how long and mum's yes that's all good and dandy but in this day and age dishwashers are around and you use them for that reason that's like me saying why don't you wash all your clothes with your hands my mum used to wash her clothes with her hands back in the day why don't you like it's ridiculous I have a dishwasher but unfortunately it's not working and it's getting on my nerves because literally our sink from our last flat the sink was huge so I'll actually show you so this basin so basically I didn't have this in my old flat this little basin so I had the whole thing as a sink so it was really big so now I put a couple plates in there in a pot and it's full full to the brim and I'm just like oh my gosh honestly I need my dishwasher to work so I can just be putting things in there and then I'm not standing washing plates for like three hours out of the day because I'm always cooking I've always got recipes going on um, you know client work to do and that requires a lot of washing up so hey baby hi right my rattan chairs rattan chairs and um, rattan stools i love them so much all four of them but i'm not convinced that i like them together anymore and it's really annoying me because i got them from a furniture outlet they only had two of each and i really want i think i want these ones more than i want the stools so i'm going to keep an eye out for these rattan chairs the these ones and if they do have them i will end up selling these two stools so if anybody wants them get at me if you have a small breakfast bar i'll give you them for a really nice price still yet to open my decenio um frames and prints need to do that um but yeah my kitchen is nice and clean today which is which i'm really happy about to be honest i asked my husband to put this in the car where it was he took it out because he went to the mechanic and he hasn't put it back so i'm gonna have to lug this into the car at some point today this area is annoying me to the fullest i really need to get one of those um standing um floor racks all our mums had it in, they have it in their kitchen had it have it and um yeah i really need to get one of those because um it's not like my old flat where I could just stick it all in the corner somewhere. It's on the island and it's really bugging me. So I want to get a really nice um, fruit bowl and then get maybe like a standing thingy image here. Anyway, today is ship the child off to nanny day. Then I'm going to come back and I've got some content to shoot. <laughs> Breakfast! Okay time to make breakfast that's my boss calling um yeah seen a jiffy hey everyone <coughs> we're back in business the afternoon now it's about four past one in the afternoon i'm on schedule or schedule however you like to say it my son is with nanny which is great and now we are going to shoot some content um for a brand i'm working with today uh really excited about this one actually i hope it comes out really really nice you can get the recipe again it will be on my instagram page so make sure you're following alexis underscore aj um 
yeah so i've made it yesterday but it's been sitting in the fridge so now it's time to like dress it cut it up take the pictures and you know make it look correct for instagram i am actually starting to get used to my chair don't know what do you guys think like ignore all that stuff over there but i'm actually getting used to it like it's growing on me and i think if i add more like till some you know duck egg green or mint green around and like offset it with some black and some golds and brass we could actually keep this chair i think i'm going to keep it i'm gonna gonna keep it if you was interested in buying i'm really really sorry but i think i'm gonna keep it but anyway let's get to this because the lighting is getting really dark it's quite yellow because i've put the light on but um yeah the lighting today it's very gray today it's very gray day outside so yeah we need to hurry up shoot our content and then get up the rest of the day dressed looking pretty like this is the most you're gonna get from me like it's very basic i'm not honestly i'm not a baker this is like the best thing i've ever done in my whole life when it comes to baking like this is real um what do you call it patisserie <laughs> so now all i have to do break open this and it should kind of just pull away and then be whole and not fall apart and disgrace me it's me luck, guys. We have a cheesecake and it's whole and it's not falling apart. <sighs> I'm so excited. Hey guys, we did it. Well, I did it, but you know. Right, so I'm going to style this up for the gram. Make sure you follow me so you can get the recipe and see how pretty these cheesecake slices turn out. Hopefully I cut them well enough. I'm excited. It looks so delicious as well. Mm. How good am I? you guys so you can see so we're done finished that's like my little setup really, really excited about this recipe and it looks like it will taste good so, do you know what let me taste let's say what what's the point of doing all this if you're not going to taste it so here we go so it's made from cashew cream also this is for adults only it's got alcohol there's liquor in the actual chocolate so please don't serve this to anyone under the age of 18 Disclaimer. Hmm. Wow. 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 I just have to pat myself on the back because that tastes the bomb. Mmm. No baked cheesecake. Hey. That is the way forward. Well, that's it. We're done here. Still got more content to shoot today before the sun goes down. Well, the, there is no sun, but before like it gets really dark. So um, I'll be back soon. And then I'll be picking up my son. I was gonna ship him off to 
mums tonight from nannies to his other nanny but um i'm making him sound like he's a burden look he's not a burden yeah i just want to get my house done my son is everything to me he is such a beautiful kid and he's just a delight to have around but it's good for him to be around his family members i don't want a baby who cries when he sees other members of the family just because he's not around them enough so that's why i encourage you know nights over at his both his grandma's houses um and to be fair there is a lot to do here so that's why it's easier for him to not be around but yeah oh that cheesecake slice oh mm, that was good you know actually you know, i'll go have more um mm, 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 mm. okay that's enough um i was gonna say something else but i forgot oh yeah i hope you guys I keep itching my ear sorry these glasses can be very irritating um i hope you guys really enjoyed my um last vlog thank you for all the feedback i know i had to take it down which is really annoying my husband was like yeah take it down take it down i was like no i don't understand it's just youtube he's like no but you said you want to do proper content x y and z I still argue with him. Then I spoke to one of my other friends, Nikki, and then she said the same thing as him. Very bad. I should just listen to my husband first time. I shouldn't have to get a second opinion. So, hubby, I'm sorry. When you watch this, I'm admitting my fault. I'm sorry, you were right. I'll draw. <laughs> I was wrong. I hate being wrong, but I was wrong. So I took it down and re-uploaded it, and it's much better now. So I hope you guys liked it. And the little chat at the end, um, when I'm a bit more open with you guys about what happens and why I came off YouTube and whatnot. And FYI, I am married. I said um, we didn't get to do the wedding. We are legally married. We've had our registry wedding. Because to get married in Italy, you have to get married here anyway first. So um, we've done that. I don't wear a band because I'm hoping to wear it, get one when we eventually do our white wedding to be honest it's not mandatory to wear a ring in general as christians there's no in the bible that tells us to wear blinged out rings it's just more of a western english tradition so either way i'm not bothered if i never get one i know i'm married so that's all that matters um but yeah sorry to go off topic but yeah i'm gonna go now and yeah i'll catch you guys in a jiffy make sure you follow me on instagram for this recipe it bangs christmas guys you want to make this you want to make this recipe i'm telling you like i know i've put some different christmas recipes um but this one is one as well like all the recipes i've done for christmas so far are amazing i'm really proud of myself so um yeah make sure you check this one out and let me know how it goes so guys this is Ozias's room um yeah there's a lot that needs to be done and put away i'm not sure where i'm putting everything i think i want like so this is from mother care is it mother care no mum mums and papas it's a petite cot i'll link it in the description box but it's a petite cot he's been using this since birth i didn't let him sleep in my bed he's been in this since he came out the hospital and that's i think that's why he's able to sleep so independently and since we moved here he the first night he was in his cot so he's been fine in that this is gonna get upgraded to a bed in about seven eight months this is his changing unit from ikea nappies found his bonnet i was looking for it the other day found it i bought this little shelf thing from um furniture outlet i thought it was really nice to put like books in it shoes clothes and stuff like that because i want him to be able to dress himself at some point so i'm going to make like a little area where he can kind of get dressed himself this unit was in our bedroom but it's now in his room i'm going to turn it um long ways and it's gonna store most of these toys and other bits and bobs i want to get a decal um i'm thinking to put it against this wall or this wall i'm gonna move the bed over there i think and move this over there. there's a lot to do i'm still trying to figure it out but um i should really do like a floor plan 
that will make my life so much more easier which I'm thinking to do now but no I'm just gonna get on with it and hope for the best I'm always hoping for the best these days so yeah need to sort all this out this is a pile of clothes yeah that I've been looking for for months then when we move it suddenly turns up it was under my bed in our old flat and now he's outgrowing everything I put it away because they were too big and now he's outgrowing it because I couldn't find it time to get this room sorted <laughs> today um i'm just gonna pick up Ozias now i'm so hot it's really hot in here but yeah i'm done in the room for today um i think the second time i come back in here to fix it up i'm gonna move the cot round and move the changing area to over there um find a bit more cohesiveness with these items happy i've done what I can do um but yeah definitely need to go and get him now oh engorged like my boobs are really filling up <laughs> but yes I'm so happy with the progress today so yeah definitely he's got a very big room so I want to make good good use of it this is the side that I'm happy with the most it's really nice gonna get some um, artwork that's gonna go up here um, for him also he needs a chair well I need a chair for when I'm breastfeeding in here um, obviously all that's gonna go um, still not convinced about this area we'll change up this area and then need to add a chair and a wardrobe thingamajig and yeah, I think then we'll be done and some decal. And once we get the artwork and stuff up, I think we'll get some more cohesiveness. I want to get some pegs as well that he can um, hang his bag and a coat that he'll probably wear during the week and stuff like that. And then all his other coats will just be hung up. But yeah, really happy. Um, he's going to be excited about this area in the morning when he wakes up. Um... But yeah, it's cute. 